So we've registered on the machine surface on the bottom of these bolts the reverse ends where it sits actually into the head. And it's got a dish in the middle, but between hole centres, so there, pretty much on zero. And we've got a bit of a deviation because it's probably not perfectly flat, and then we're back on zero there. So that's for me, that's enough. Backwards and forwards should be fine as well because again we're sat on these two machine surfaces. So what we'll do is we'll um, we'll whip this out and um, we'll drill and tap this hole as well. So we've got this all centred up. Um, not reverse. Turn it on. Not a good idea. There we go. Oh, that's in the way. So we know our depth. Just the threads. You want to drill out all the threads, even though a helicoil coil is, um, you know, that's only what eight mil. And of course, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's seven mil. The reason why you want to drill out all the threads is because when you have your threads with your helicoil coil at the top, if you have threads at the bottom that are mismatched, the bolt will want to grind up and chew chunks and it might make this damage happen again so that's exactly what we don't want so um, change this out and uh, we'll stick the tap in put a fluid turn it on let's see. turn it on So that's 200 RP. We're doing this whole thing by feel. Just stop it there. Flick it in reverse. Back out 100. And booyah! thread. So now we've got um, our new hole drilled. <coughs> we'll stick our uh, tool in. I'll try and get it so you can see as well. And then we just wind it in. Like a spring. Like so, oops, like so. So we've got a sexy new thread in there, and we'll um, break off the tab to get against some surface. Booyah! Beat a little bit up, there we go, that little piece of crap. And make sure, <laughs> make sure. Chuck them bits with a scrap pot. There we go. Because they are um, little buggers to get caught in things. And then you get your bolt, wind that in there. And booyah. Nice and tight.
And what we'll do is um, I'll lap this surface here with a bit of that horrible countersink. Mullet it a bit. And uh, you can see a slight torn, you can see a bit on the camera actually, the tonal colour difference in the metal. In the metal. Ugh. And uh, so that's it, job done. I'll clean up this thread, uh, give this a bit of a rub down, just a bit of a clean up. And then uh, I'll be posting this back to Andy. So, there you go. How it went. So my take on the whole thing was, um, yes, you need a tiny bit of practice. Um, my fault, in a sense, is I kept on dipping, kept, kept the flame on it basically all the time. I was a bit used to doing brazing. Um, it's good stuff, though. Bit a tiny bit of practice and, and not much. And you'll um, be miles away. You've got to learn the material a bit. I needed to really. I've got a lot to do, so I kind of need to get this done and uh, back out. But. Um, it should be fine, but we'll see. Andy will uh, come running back to me if it's broken. <laughs> and um, so that's that. In a bit.